Today, we make an animated just chatting screen. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. I hope you guys had a fantastic holiday. I sure did, and I had a fantastic holiday break as well. We did not post a video last week due to the holidays being super busy. I was unable to get a video recorded and out, but it was fine. It worked as a little bit of a break for me, but we're back and it's time to start making some videos again, and we've got some more free stuff for you in the form of a just chatting screen. And just like before in my last template, you do not need After Effects to actually use this template. I've had a lot of people in my comments saying that they love what I make, but they do not have After Effects and they'd love to be able to use it, but they can't open it in After Effects and get it exported. So I'm trying to move my templates so that they're available for people without After Effects and with After Effects. Now this is only possible for certain templates. Not all of them are going to be able to have pre-exported versions, but this one does that you can throw directly into OBS. So if you do not own After Effects, you can jump down in the description, down Download this template and get an export right out of the template without going into After Effects, without owning After Effects, put it right into your OBS and still be able to change colors. But if you do own After Effects and you want to edit this a little bit deeper to be more custom, make sure you're jumping into this timestamp here in the video. This is where we're going to go into After Effects and I'm going to show you what it looks like and uh, you can change it however you want. You can do whatever you want with it. It is your template. But for those of you who do not have After Effects, still want to use it, still want to change the colors, let's jump into OBS. I'll show you how to use it. So the first things first, ladies and gentlemen, when you open up the template, you're going to want to make sure you extract the template into just a folder like this. Once you extract it, you're going to have exports, you're going to have a font, you're going to have a Photoshop, and you're going to have an After Effects file. Photoshop is just where I designed it. After Effects is where I animated it. There's a font here that I used called Gotham Black. You can easily install this yourself. You just want to double click on it and hit install. You want to do that before you open up Photoshop or After Effects, or it's not going to Gonna link the font so make sure you are installing this Gotham black here before you open up anything but we're gonna go back if you do not own After Effects you can forget about the fonts and you can just go right into exports here and you'll see we've got a just chatting animation and a just chatting overlay and I'll show you why we have to in just a second so let's go ahead and open up OBS here and when I mean open up I just mean bring it onto the screen because I'm already using it to record this video so we're gonna go ahead and create a new media source so in sources you just want to hit plus go to media source and you want to name this whatever you want I'll just call it chatting so you just want to name it whatever you want where it says local file here you just want to hit browse and then make your way to the template so I've made my way to the template you just want to go inside the export folder and you just want to grab the just chatting animation hit open and then one thing that's really important is you want to make sure you hit loop because this is a looping animation you want it to just stay on constantly so make sure you hit loop and then hit okay and there you go you've got the just chatting inside of OBS you can see you've got the animations going on it's really nice and when the animation finishes it's going to loop and now I have hid the chatting source just so you guys can see the OBS recording because since I'm recording my video on this OBS if I turn this on all you see is just chatting so I'm gonna hide that so you guys can see what I actually do so once you add that in you just want to right click go to filters hit the plus down here and then you just want to hit add color correction and once you add the color correction, you can mess around with the hue shift and the saturation and all that. And you can change the colors of the border to be whatever you want. So you see if I go way over here and mess around with the saturation a little bit, hit close. And then if we turn on the just chatting, you'll see we've got this awesome pink and red color. Go ahead and hide that again. If we go back into the filters and I move the uh, hue maybe way over here, close and then turn it back on. We've got a nice green one. So you can just mess around with the hue and obviously you don't need to keep hiding it. I'm just doing that so I can record the video, but you can just live update the colors to be whatever you want. And as you can see now, I've just added the display capture into where the webcam would go. You'd obviously just take your webcam and you'd shrink it down and put it inside of this box and line it up so it looks just like this. But one thing that I've added so that you can have something kind of advanced and special about your just chatting screen, I'll show you in just a second, is I've added an overlay that goes over the top of all of this so if you go to add again add source and you go to image this time it's just an image not a media source and you hit ok and then we go to browse again make your way back to the templates again so just chatting screen and we go to the exports folder once again so exports there's a just chatting overlay image just a png go ahead and bring that in and you'll see it has added these corners here and this chat with an overlay almost like a, a gradient that leads to nothing so go ahead and hit okay so as you can see it added these corners here to the webcam and then it also added this chat gradient over here but you see the colors don't match so one thing you're going to need to do is head into your filters that you added the color correction to and memorize the numbers you changed so saturation 0.26 hue shift 92.22 and then if we head back into our image add a filter color correction 
and then we're just going to add in those numbers that we remembered here there we go so now our hue should be the exact same as what it was on the other one and as you can see everything's matching up just nice and the reason i added this image overlay is because it just allows you to have a bit more of an interesting and advanced effect going on on your just chatting screen because without the image overlay you wouldn't be able to have corners like this over your footage they come over the top of your footage and then also this chat gradient over here once you add your chat from like Streamlabs or something like that over here it needs to go in between so as you can see we've got the chat source down here it needs to go in between the image and the chat just chatting screen just make sure it's underneath the just chatting image the overlay i provided and what that'll do as you see if i chat in my twitch chat for a while it's going to pop up down here as we get to the top the chat's going to begin to go underneath that gradient overlay that I provided, and you'll see that it slowly vanishes. So as you can see up here at the top, it slowly begins to vanish. That's just because of the just chatting overlay that we put over it that's that gradient. So if I turn off chatting, you'll see this overlay, and it's just kind of a gradient. So all your chats hide behind that, and it's just a really cool kind of advanced technique that you can do to make your chat look a little bit nicer and your just entire just chatting screen look a bit nicer. But that is how you incorporate all these assets into OBS. You can have an awesome just chatting screen just like this with some advanced settings going on, full color changeability without After Effects at all. All you need to do is go down and download the template right now and just go into the exports and throw them into OBS and just start messing around with them. But for those of you who do have After Effects and want to change it to be a bit more special, maybe add some stuff to it, we'll jump into After Effects real quick. So here we are inside of After Effects. Looks familiar, looks just like you saw it before. So you've got two compositions. You've got Final Render, which is where you're just gonna export the animation. You see we've got the in and out points set for you, so it does a perfect loop, but you just export this when you want to, once you've done, finished changing everything. And then you've got your overlay um, composition over here that's just going to be an image, and it's just a uh, the chat overlay and the corners for the webcam. But if we head back into Final Render, you'll see we've got this thing called Colors at the top. It's just an adjustment layer. And if you go to your effects controls for colors you'll see we've got a hue and saturation wheel very similar to inside of OBS so you can change these colors if you would like a bit more control over the colors to change them to be whatever you want and not use the hue and saturation wheel you're going to need to know After Effects a little bit better so that you can dive in and begin changing all these things yourself we've also got the same color wheel inside of the overlay so if you go to the color overlay colors effects controls you'll see we've got the same dial here to change it so you can just make sure these things match and you've got um, matching colors between your two compositions so you can change it to be whatever you want the just chatting up here as you can see is just a text layer so you can change this to be whatever you want so if you just want it to say um just chat there you go <laughs> just chat if you can change it to be whatever you want you can say whatever you want same inside inside of overlay you can have it not say chat up here if you just want it to be blank you can turn it off you can have this say whatever you want you can have this say you guys or whatever i don't care just change it to be whatever you want you can change any of the text change any of the colors but when it is time to export if you've added your logo you've added some stuff down here some sponsorships maybe i don't care it's ready to export you see you've got the in and out points set for you, you just want to go to composition and add to render queue so in the render queue you just want to click where it says lossless in blue and change this to quick time you can leave this on rgb normally you do rgb plus alpha if you're doing webcam overlays and stinger transitions and stuff but since this doesn't need to be transparent you just want to do rgb hit okay and then where it says output to final render in blue here click that that's where you can name it whatever you want save it wherever you want and then you're good to go you can hit render and then for the overlay you'll see the in and out points are actually set if i zoom in here to only be one frame now that's done very specifically because we're just exporting one frame it just needs to be a photo if you export just one frame of video it works just like a photo so just make sure the in and out points are set just like that with one frame make sure you're selected in the comp here go up to composition add to render queue click where it says lossless in blue again and under format you're actually going to change this to png sequence because it's going to export the entire composition every frame as just a png image file but since we only selected one frame it's just going to export one png change this to rgb plus alpha that's very important because this actually does need a transparent background to overlay over the top of everything else so rgb plus alpha alpha png sequence hit okay once again output to this overlay you can click that name it wherever you want save it wherever you want and you can actually do this all at once and render these both at the same time if you would like but once you do that it's uh, refer to the beginning of this video you export it you input it into obs and you're done and that is it 
All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. There's a lot to cover going on in this because it was a bit more of an advanced just chatting screen with the image overlay that goes over the top of everything. But I hope you guys understood everything and I hope you enjoy my just chatting screen. A lot of people have been requesting that I create one and you can download it now down in the description, whether you have After Effects or not. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.